Welcome back to another episode. This one's a bit different because we're helping out a mate, the McMahon family, who own a company called Extreme Marquees. You probably know about this joint. His marquees are everywhere. But what is happening, he has acquired or purchased a bloody military tank. <laughs> <laughs> what a legend. So what kind of tank is it then? It is a Centurion tank. I'm pretty sure it's a British tank used in World War II. That's insane. So we're off to out country, sort of out country, a bit of half-half, plenty of acreage, and it is going to be delivered there today within the hour. And there's quite a hefty hill, this semi trailer needs to get up with the tank on it it's literally vertical so we'll see how we go but stay tuned for the rest of the day this is going to be an experience love it Massive, dude. I'm just wondering where we can um, where we can put some airbags in this beast. Yeah. What sort of tank is this? This is a 1953 Centurion Mark V. Yeah, nice. With a uh, B12 27 litre Rolls Royce yeah. power plant. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> it's cool. Were these used it's in cool. World War Two? Uh, no, these came out in '53. Uh, they were actually designed in the World 40. War II, yeah. but they didn't actually start production until 53 and beyond and started with the Mark I, of course, and that's about Mark 13 yeah. that's out now. Yeah. Does it come with any rockets? It comes with rockets. <laughs> <laughs> that's keen for that, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Here we go. The extreme marquee and airbag man convoy is off. This is the tank. Absolutely massive. Here we go. And she's off. So we'll see you at the bottom of the extremely steep hill. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Oh, look at the size of it. Look at the size of the trailer. The weight on it is unreal. What are your thoughts? It's Can we a, have one? Yeah, it's, it's a tank. Like last year's spec. I'm, I'm, it's a tank. <laughs> like Did you get these in South Africa? Oh, that's what we drive all the time, just to keep us protected, you know, from the wildlife and the lions. Yeah, really? Have to drive over <laughs> one every now and then. It's your daily driver. <laughs> oh, we're going up a big hill over here. That's going to be bad. It's insane, isn't it? What do you reckon? Yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> pretty good. Where's the hill? It's up here, eh? Hey? Yeah, it's on the street. Yeah, that's Drop right. Mountain there. I remember this. Awesome. Christy, you see all the people on the park? Everyone just kind of stopped and turned there. Yeah. Wow, it's really huge. Oh, Matt, maybe we should go to the hill there and we should do another. Confident? Confident? Yeah. Nervous? Is it one? Fear is another emotion. <laughs> Got to do the first start up now and move it a few meters. That's great. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. Oh, you can't just wait. Yeah. Taking my bold spot. <laughs> I'm good. Let's roll. You gonna send it? I'm gonna send it, get some epic shots hopefully. Hopefully this thing makes it up the hill. The hill is like it's like this guys. It's like, like that. Wait, wait, wait. Just adjust a bit. That's the hill. Yeah. <laughs> so, it should be good. so good. 
have a go at what's in the background here. What they're doing is, is they're bringing the tank towards the back, strapping it up properly. They're probably going to do a quick test run, just check out this hill because it is so big. So once we've done that, hopefully we'll be able to get up. I'm keen to see this. Alright, I'm going to attempt to run up this hill with the tank going. Get some epic shots for you and for Greggy boy. Oh, look at this hill. Up there. All these cars are giving it some up there, so I don't know how this truck is going to cope, but I reckon it'll be fine. I'll take it nice and easy. It's quite wide. And yeah, I'll follow it up. Follow it up. Because it's going to be unreal. How's my hair looking? Like that part? Yeah, boy. I just noticed this epic... I think it might be a Series 1 Land Rover. Because we have one very similar, but in awesome condition. This one... This one's got character, eh? Look at this. I won't go into this person's property, but... Have a look at that. That is awesome. Update, it is not happening. It cannot get up this massive hill. It's good I don't have to run it, run up the hill now. But anyway. It's like 90 degrees. <laughs> yeah, it's 90 degrees. <laughs> so what we're doing is we're going out the back of this mountain, drop the tank off at the property over the other side because there's acres for days here. And we'll be able to drive the tank through the bush. It's gonna be awesome. Absolutely keen. Here we go, this is plan B. We're trying to get the tank to the back side of the property to get it through. But the smallest hill we're even struggling with. So we'll just see how it goes, eh? I need to get a can. This has got to be it. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. Boy, get up there. <laughs> so good. Yeah. Next hurdle, this is the actual property, dirt road. Hopefully the truck can get through this, but if not, might have to get out and drive the tank. There we go.
How so do you we, feel in there? Um, the seat's too far for you to be okay. For me, I'm sort of tippy toes on on the clutch, pushing that right out. Yeah. And um, and yeah, I'm sitting on the live ammunition box yeah. at the moment for a, a little bit of extra height. <laughs> Ideally, if I could get up about another, you know, 30 centimeters and forward by 30, I'd be in a comfortable position. Yeah. You know? We can work on that. Yeah, we have to sort of work on sitting on two ammunition things. Yeah, we're trying to go. It's now. amazing. So Benny. Yes! We are walking back to the cars because we actually get to have a little bit of a forby through this property. So yeah, we'll buddy. See how that goes. Don't know what the tracks are like. It's Ben's mate's place, so he probably has a bit of an idea. You know, this, this end of the property. Yeah, they're not too bad. It's not yeah. too bad down here. We used to ride bikes and walk right across. Here like 12 years ago. Jesus. Hey, you're about 40 years old now, aren't you? Yeah. And I'm 50. No. Oh, did you just drop one? Yeah, nice. Yeah, I saw you take off a little bit in front of me there. <laughs> bit of a booster. All right, so we'll get in the cars. Four be up this hill behind us. That'll be a piece of cake. Let me just check out the rest of the property. Hopefully the tank gets through. Yeah, boy. Not much of a four B, but still enjoyable because we get to see the tank which is three meters in width, go down a track that is about 3.1. So here we go. She's home. She's home, Jacob. Where we got it. Yeah, so I didn't good. think I'd, I was going to drive it much more than three or five meters than cross country and yeah. over a dam. And it's very exciting that, that it's, so it's here. Man. It's in our front yard. This You're is a crazy. legend, mate. This is a yeah. crazy thing. Thank you very much. <laughs> over and out. Thank you. Here we are, we got Pat's cruiser in the background and he has been running airbags for quite a while now. Where have you been in this cruiser? Uh, about two years ago I took it up to the Cape and back. Yeah. Um, did a bit of full driving around there. That's um, awesome. And yeah, just the start of the year went for a trip out to Uluru yeah. um, and explored all around there. That would have been amazing, I've never been up there. So oh, it was unreal. Lucky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've got a fair bit of weight on here, you've got your rooftop, you've got, what, a fridge in the back, yep. some drawers. Yep, the rear bar there. Yeah. So there's a fair bit of weight on there. And he is going to, with the conventional uh, leaf springs on the back, he is going to experience some spring sag. So having the airbags in there are going to level the vehicle out keep it nice and safe and maximize the wheel travel when he's off-road so he's going to get full flex when he's going down those tracks so mm, yep, how do you yep. found the ride quality uh, it's 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 been unbelievable yeah. right and just when i fully load up the back there adjust, adjust the pressure there to get it to the Easy right adjustment yeah yeah yep yep um, you're just running the inflation valves at the back aren't yeah you? yeah yeah it's just nice and easy um, portable compressor you use or? yeah i've got i've got my portable i've got my yeah compressor in the back there as well yeah so i can just pump gonna have to upgrade you mate to some switches or something yeah <laughs> so, so i'm a bit fancy there Love it. what's the best part of your vehicle aside from the airbags what is the best part the best part about it um 
just the fact that it's just so hard to break anything. It's, yeah, it's just quality. Yeah, it just yeah, it's just so basic. No, no, yeah. Basic, but a good basic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, love it. Yeah. Well done. Well, thanks for showing us. No worries. Hey, so this tank here, what is the name that you would call it? The Kali tank. <laughs> hey, one more time. The Kali tank. What about yourself? Probably the probably the Tanktastic Extreme Aki's tank. That's a good one. Mine was better though. I don't know. Go give it just one. Um, thing. Extreme Aki. Pops into your head. Yeah, 100%. I think it's, Tanktastic I think it's tank. Well, like, <laughs> what about yourself? Um, the Extreme Aki's tank. That's good. I love it. Awesome. Good stuff. We finally got the tank to where it needs to be in Sanford Valley. We've got our driver, Greg, behind, owner of Extreme Marquees. Hi, Christy. Thank you very much, everybody here, for helping to get our dream onto the property. Uh, Extreme Marquees tank is going to be here for a long, long time. We're the next custodians of this beautiful old piece of military hardware. And uh, it was quite an effort to get it through the uh, properties next door and we thank everybody uh, involved in, in helping us. Thank you very much and thanks very much to the airbag team for uh, their assistance in getting some great footage and uh, we're signing off. Here we are sitting on top of this World War II tank. This is insane. I'd just like to thank the Extreme Marquis team for inviting us along. This has been a sensational experience. Absolutely love it. Benny, catch me. Catch me, Ben. Oh, watch out.